Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Alhamdulillah that we are searching for Laylatul Qadr and that awliyaullah come into our life to remind us that that night in which Qur'an was opened up for humanity, for the revelation, for this earth to begin Laylatul Qadr. And remembering that that Holy Qur'an is emanating from Manzil Qur'an. It's emanating from a power source that coming down and opening up and that location is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That is the eternal location for all qadr, all power. Allah's might and majesty flowing through Manzil Qur'an, the house of where Qur'an is emanating which is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad which is by the name of Yaseen which is the heart of Holy Qur'an. So all these signs Allah give to us like pearls, only Allah come into our life to thread them and put them together so we can make a zikr of it and understand it. That we're not searching here and there, here and there but anzalnahu that Allah is saying it is and was a time in which we revealed it to who? And that's why we started the night before talking about La ilaha illa hu. That from Allah this energy flows all the way to this hey wow from Allah alif lam lam hey has a wow called who. The unseen essence of Allah unknown hidden essence of Allah that reflects out that reality to Muhammadun Rasulullah For us to reach towards Laylatul Qadr the reminder is then Layla, Laylat is to annihilate, is take yourself away from between this alif and lam. Layl for people of spirituality is annihilate. The day is when you manifest, the night is when you finished, you're gone, efface yourself. Take ourselves out of this formula that this is not about me, this is not about me wanting to, to know how Allah wants to talk to me. This is about me being nothing and Ya Rabbi let me just be a spectator of this love you have for Sayyidina Muhammad and the love that Prophet has for his Lord. When I'm out we can begin to move in and that becomes a layl for you. That become a time in which you're annihilating and when you're annihilating and directing yourself to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So how then to reach to Laylatul Qadr is by the salawat and durood, go into the oceans of Qadr. Go into the ocean in which this Holy Qur'an is, is continuously emanating throughout all of creation in which all the souls are being dressed from its light, blessed from its light and that only Allah are bathed in that light and given their fuel from this Bahr Qudra, this oceans of power. At every moment they exist within this ocean by means of Kunu ma sadiqeen, itaqullah Allah said, have a consciousness and find my truthful servants who are truthful by their words and by their actions and their deeds. They are qadri. They entered into an ocean of realities and Allah dressed them from his qadr, dressed them from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Ya Muhammadiyoon.
They're the ahbab and lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad and at every moment they are dressed from these oceans of Qadr and dressing everyone from their oceans of Qadr. And so how to reach in this holy month, the month of nine, the month of the Sultan, month of the Sultanat and Izzah and might of Allah of Ramadan that He asked us to fast, to reach it and to feel it even more is then by excessive salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad Last ten nights lots of durood al-sharif, lots in the meditation that I just want to keep my, my head at your threshold Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al-Azim from this power that reaching into your heart dress me and bless me from its lights. Take away my bad character, take away all that blocks me from reaching and feeling this reality and that for us is our Laylatul Qadr. That is for us a power, that is for us the significance of the nine and the sultan. Laylatul Qadr is nine huruf and appears three times in Surat Al Qadr giving us an understanding on the eighth night which is going to be the nine. On the seventeenth night is the eighteen another nine and on the 27th night, 26th night which is the 27th is another nine. So three powers are dressing this holy month of Ramadan all the way also Hiya has its secret on the 29th of Ramadan. Means all of these codes are in Holy Qur'an and how to achieve them is that not thinking that I'm going to get it by myself just sitting by myself but Ya Rabbi I know its location, it's coming from the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad So let me to sit in my tafakkur and my contemplation, make my durood, make my muraqabah, make all of these practices, Ya Rabbi let me to see myself at Madinatul Munawar, the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad Say, Ya Rasul Kareem dress me and bless me from these lights. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from these majestic lights, beatific lights and that Allah bless the ahbab and lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad with His eternal blessing. That this blessing comes not by actions but by love. It's a sign of Allah's great gift is a gift of love and a heart that has love within it. We pray that Allah bless us with that gift and dress us with that gift mm. and make us to be the extreme lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad here and hereafter mm. and that Prophet to be always happy with us, his mm. rida and satisfaction to be upon us mm. and that Allah give us a himma, a zeal to want to, to do more to reach towards that reality. When we read these salawats from Arabic, Farsi, Naat and Urdu nasheeds, these only Allah they gave us many many understandings. So this is not something I'm coming up with for the first time that you're hearing. You probably recited it all your life but never took the time to actually look, what is it that I'm reciting? And all their kalam is a description of these realities. And all their kalams were hints and isharats that to hold time, to move into that direction hold into that who, understand the reality of that who. The who of Allah and the mirroring dresses the who of Sayyidina Muhammad And that who is comprised of hidayat and guidance and wow for love. And he dresses his ulul am to be huwiya. There are who's on this earth that he dressed them. He said that you will have a hidayat from me. You'll be from Atiullah, Atiya Rasul and Ulul Amri Minkum and Prophet signed off, put them into seclusions, perfected, baked and cooked them because the moon raised them. When they're ordered into khalwa the Prophet is now ordering to finalize them. They come, I'm going to cook you. Sweeten you, perfect you, grant them the hay of hidayat and guidance 
grant them that you must be from always the wow. You must always exhibit Allah's Divinely love and show mercy upon creation. So then these who are walking this earth. So who Allah is showing that we sent it and it is in a continuous flowing to who? Continuously flowing from the who of Allah to the who of Sayyidina Muhammad What do you learn from satellites and mirrors? That Allah reflects to Muhammadun Rasul Allah and then there's another mirror in which Muhammadun Rasulullah reflects to awliya, to the ulul amr. And then these ulul amr they reflect to their ulul amr, their students that are studying and trying to be rijal whether they're men or women, they're being reflected to. And then those rijal are reflecting out everywhere they go. So it means that wherever you look Prophet's mirror is shining through that awliya, through the chain of all awliya Allah. All these awliya Allah are reflecting to that shaykh, that shaykh reflecting to the student and the students reflecting out towards creation. And that's why many people look at you strange. Why? It's not because you only look funny and different because we do. We look like we're from the moon in a day where nobody's keeping anything and you're walking around with the sunnah of Prophet or for the ladies who wear hijab and in a world that nobody wants hijab anymore. People look at you strange like you're from another planet but it's reality is you have a light from the Muhammadan heaven, from the Muhammadan reality. And the soul of that person knows that light and the soul of that person pushes their physicality, look at them, look at them and you're going to call and remember what you saw in your grave. Because when angels come to ask you, they're going to ask you, have you seen this light of Sayyidina Muhammad the body would say, no, I never saw anyone, I don't know what you're talking about. The soul says, no, that body's ignorant and lying, I saw it. I saw that paradise reality, I saw the light of that kingdom upon this soul when I looked at it. Soul doesn't lie and doesn't hide. So the soul pushes people, look at that person. Then they look at you like, Ajeeb, what are you staring at? You're staring at your soul. And the soul of that person is staring at your soul to witness the Muhammadan reality that your shaykh is dressing upon you and that his dress is upon him and his dress upon him and his mirroring through this shajara all the way up. That Prophet is looking into that ayna and reflecting out this power. And why Allah send it to these mirrors and satellites? Because the power that Sayyidina Muhammad receives from Allah no one can take it. If Allah was to put the whole force of His power, it would obliterate everything. And electricians know you have a step down. What you take from the power plant at how many millions or billions of watts? You don't bring that into the house, you blow up the whole house, the wire systems can't even take it. So the satelliting is a stepping down. What Prophet hears from Allah no angel, no Prophet has heard, no, no companion has heard. And what voice did the companions hear of Sayyidina Muhammad Mullah Shaykh taught that in Malaysia. What energy they received? No one on earth can take and because of that their station is not something that can be achieved. Because of the energy they were dressed with, the wiring system in which they were changed with, their entire being had to be different to adapt to the magnificent power and status of Sayyidina Muhammad arriving upon earth. Imagine then the wiring system that was rewired for all sahabi to, to carry that reality. 
on how they heard the beatific voice of Prophet saw the beatific lights of Sayyidina Muhammad What then Sahabi transferred and conveyed to the tabi'een, tabi tabi'een, all of these were mirrors. What they conveyed no one can understand and those who received from them what they conveyed. So this is a series of mirrors that drop down so that this power doesn't burn and destroy people. So means this anzalnahu is a continuous dress upon these Ahlul Hu. All the way to the end of the surah, Wa Allah Zawajal, Salamun hiya hatta mithla al fajr. That from bi idnillah, by the permission of Allah, Zawajal, this emanation is eternally coming down to the ruh. The ruh that represents the station of this sun for this galaxy is the highest Muhammadan soul with its full authority. That Muhammadan soul and representative of Sayyidina Muhammad is under the command, he commands the sun and the eleven planets. Its dalil was Surat al-Yusuf when Sayyidina Yusuf said, Ya Rabbi I saw the sun, the moon and the planets making sujood to me. Why the sujood of ihtiram? To show what? They're under his foot and under his command. And his father said, this is a very high station, don't tell your brothers least they're going to harm you. If eleven prophets are going to kill you for telling you who your station is, imagine normal people. That's why they don't talk about that reality. And, and awliyaullah of Sayyidina Muhammad are waris al-anbiya of Bani Israel. Because all the prophets before Prophet are Bani Israel. And Prophet my ulama, my awliya, not the ulama who read books, but the ulama who've been taught from Prophet that they walk and talk the, the reality. They are the inheritors of the Prophets of Bani Israel. So they inherit the station of Sayyidina Yusuf where make the sun to be beautiful and so enjoyable for people. The beauty of Sayyidina Yusuf So there is a wali whose soul is representing that ruh and malaika and every command from Allah to Prophet's light and soul through the entire created universe goes to that sun and that soul takes the command to the angels and then Budala, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad wal Ahyar, all the categories of Rijal which are ins and jinn and they send their command through these photons to the entire galaxy. Every command is in that photon moving into your cell to say, you're going to be healthy, you're going to be sick, you're going to live, you're going to die. The, pa- the, fl- the plant is coming up, the plant is going down. So not even the sustenance under a rock of a mustard seed is not under its control. Allah has everything under its control. And that's why from his knowledge, from Ayatul Kursi Allah describes, from this knowledge you have no access. Its capability is not something that can be understood. The knowledges and uloom that people are receiving is not that they understand what type of power Sayyidina Muhammad soul has from Izzatullah, from the might and majesty of Allah From that, salamun here hatta mithla al-fajr. That Allah is sending these salams and blessings every fajr. Every day for them is being dressed, anzalnahu. These who are being dressed every single day all the way to their fajr because is a faraj and a, and a release and a birth for them because every day is a birth for them. And Allah renews them in every birth brand new. When Allah described, and in every moment your Lord is in a new tajalli. His Lordship and reality that He dresses upon Sayyidina Muhammad 
of his might and his majesty every moment Prophet is in a new tajalli and in every moment and every day a new day and a new tajalli for those awliya. And what Allah says, Salamun Ya Mr. Al Fajr, Salam, Alayhi Salam. Salams, Allah is giving salams. So when they say, why you say Alayhi Salam? Allah said that they got salam all the way every day until Fajr, Allah's salams is upon them. And we talked before, what is salam? The seen lam meem. What secret is in this scene? That coming with the lamb and the lisan of truth under the Muhammadan tajalli that comes, Nurul Anwar, Sirat al Asrar is coming with this scene. When salam is coming, the scene is in every photon coming down. Coming with the tongue means it's coming under an order, no photon hit you by accident. No disease comes to you by accident, no wealth comes to you by accident, nothing is of a coincidence. Everything comes by order of the Lamb under a Muhammadan representative, that's why it's an Amr, Alif, Mim, Ra, Ulul Amr, they are the Muhammadan who take the command and the order. Whether the angels, Buddha, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Al Akhyar, all of them are from the kingdom, the Muhammadan kingdom, this salam is coming. You say, Alayhi salam, when Allah and people say, Alayhi salam, may Allah's peace be upon them, they say, why do you say peace be upon them? This is only for Prophets. Who told you that they're only for Prophets? Allah said, all of these people are receiving salams all the way till Fajr. Then the noble souls, must be immense salams from Allah they are dripping realities of salam. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us, that people who are searching, the search has ended. Increase your love for Sayyidina Muhammad Increase your love for Sayyidina Muhammad and do everything with your being to show that love. If you can't do something, support somebody that can. If you can feed people, go out and feed people for that love. If you can do a mawlid, do something for that love. Anything that you can do to show your love for Sayyidina Muhammad this is our key. Make your durood, make your salawat, make Allah to be happy for you. Say, Ya Rabbi, I want to do all my salah, all my prayers, everything you asked of me. So that you will be happy with me that I am a good follower of Sayyidina Muhammad I want to bring like a, a respect and honour for Prophet not that you can raise the status but I don't want Prophet to be ashamed and embarrassed of me. That he has to plead to Allah please for my sake don't keep beating him because of what he's doing but I want Prophet to be pleased with me. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa siri Surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.